This week I feel like the message has been for me. Are you listening? When I was growing up, we would watch things as a family, my mother and my father and my brother and myself. And I would always ask questions in the middle of a movie and my mother would look at me and say, Kia, if you would be quiet and if you would listen, the question that you are asking may be answered. This always stuck with me because my mother also impressed upon me that listening is a skill. Many people hear the words that you say, but very few will actually listen to you. As men and women in this society, I feel we don't listen to each other. We hear the words that one another speaks, but are we truly listening to our counterparts? There's always this big to do, men versus women, them versus us. But truthfully, we are the same. We are reflective mirrors of the other. One has something that the other needs just as the other has something that that other needs. Women, we are more of the emotional carriers of this world. We carry emotion. It is what we do. We birth babies. We nurture the home. We provide that nourishment that is needed, the cooking and the cleaning. And it is not to say we aren't capable of more because we are capable of everything. However, we also must understand that our masculine counterpart is there to teach us. Our masculine counterpart is there to provide for us in the way of understanding logic versus emotion. But logic without emotion is very dry. And emotion without logic is very, hmm, wet. (laughs) And I don't mean that as a pun, but I do mean that. And that emotion is like a water. It's, it's river, it's flowing, it's fluid, it's, it's a current. It's always consistent. There's always an emotion that is running through us. It's, it's the water that we drink. However, we also need that logical component to provide us the wherewithal and the knowledge to see past the emotion, to see what the message is within the emotion. And so while men have been saying for years that women are emotional and they're crazy and they're this and they're that, we are. But we are that way for purpose. We are that way to show you true, raw emotion. And while women can say that men are detached and they don't care and they just only do this and that, well, they are. But men are there to show us how to utilize logic within emotion, just as women are here to show men how to utilize emotion within logic, how to understand, how to value the emotion that you have. But if we don't listen to each other, then we'll always just hear the words and never actually tune in to listen to what the other is trying to say, trying to teach, trying to provide for, because we each have provision for the other. We each have something that the other needs, but we are so busy trying to be right that we don't wanna hear the truth. And the truth is women need men just as much as men need women. We are the other component that we have been searching for. And we do live in a world that has also placed this gender neutral foundation. So let's take out the man or woman and just use it as masculine and feminine. Because masculine and feminine energy is comprised in every human body. We all have masculine energy and we all have feminine energy. And the key in order to build the human being that you are destined to be is to balance those two within yourself, to understand what are your feminine components as well as what are your masculine components. Because no matter if you are gay or straight or trans or bi or whatever you are, you have a masculine and feminine essence within you. We all do. And so it is necessary for us to learn from our opposite that isn't quite opposite. They are just on the other side of us. It is though you have an empty room with the big pillar in the middle 
and one stands on one side of the room and says, the pillar is blue. And the other stands on the other side of the room and says, the pillar is pink. And neither of you realize that if you would just take a look to where the other is view viewing it from, you could see that the pillar is both pink and blue. There is no right or wrong. It is only perspective. It is only the objective in which you are viewing your life from. And so masculine and feminine have this perspective that they are viewing from their provided gender that they may have. So with his penis, he has looked at life from a certain perspective. And with your vagina, you have looked at life from another perspective. But neither is right or wrong. They just are where they are from your perspective viewpoint. I believe it is time for us to start listening to each other. And it is time for us to stop wanting to be right or wrong and start realizing that we need the other. I love you.